Vaccinations at the state mega site in Rockaway are by appointment only. The website of Atlantic Health, managing the medical mechanics here, reads at this time there are no appointments available. Because of the lack of supply of vaccines, are you having to reschedule or cancel any appointments? You know, we've been very careful about making sure that we only schedule what we can take care of. Um, that being said, though, this short, it is so unpredictable at this point that inevitably we sometimes have to do that, and that's very unfortunate. When the governor toured this site two weeks ago, organizers talked about vaccinating 2,400 people a day by May if and when vaccines reliably come from the federal government. Atlantic Health says right now it's vaccinating way fewer than that, but it still encourages New Jerseyans to go online, sign up, and anticipate an appointment alert for when more vaccines come from the new presidential administration. If we have the vaccine here on the site, we can get it in people's arms. The state has six vaccination mega sites. One opens Friday in Atlantic County and another in the Meadowlands will follow. National Guard members help the crowd flow by checking in patients who wind their way to and through registration past two out of 16 air filters that clean the air every nine minutes in the old Sears building in the Rockaway Town Square Mall where Morris County's emergency management director used to shop. It is ideal. I mean, if you look at the floor plan, if you look at the, the space we have, I mean, I think, we're, I think we're standing in men's right now. When patients sit for an injection, an Atlantic Health registered nurse will ask a series of questions. Have you ever had a severe allergic reaction to any of the ingredients in this vaccine or, poly or polysorbate? No. EMT Dave Schultz has seen the agony of COVID-19 and how much his medical services industry has had to adapt. It's strange. There's no longer a routine call. So if there's a dispatch for a stubbed toe, you're still taking all the precautions. So he's come to the state's Morris County Regional Vaccination Center mega site to get a COVID-19 vaccine that he considers mandatory. I've done my research. Um, there are some people who are, who are concerned about what may or may not be in it. I can tell you that for me, I know that COVID kills and the vaccine doesn't, right? I've known that there's great research that's gone on. It was an easy decision for me. I look forward to the second dose. Received your Pfizer vaccine. Here's your lot number. As well. The Pfizer vaccine requires a second dose in 21 days. Atlantic Health says the federal government is holding back vaccines for second doses, but Atlantic is not. It's giving doses when it gets them. Lilo, there seems to be growing pressure on public officials to use those vaccines right away instead of holding them off until second dose vaccines. I know that's taking place in New York City. There's a debate about it. What about here in Jersey? I spoke with the health department this morning and I, Michael, I was surprised sort of by the answer. Um, so that's not on the table right now. Um, but it is a possibility if come three to four weeks down the road and we don't have enough vaccines to meet demand. We have to have a reliable flow of the vaccine. The fact that we have a vaccine in nine months is a miracle. But it doesn't do any good if it doesn't get into people's arms. Michael Hill, NJ Spotlight News.